Hi to all, I am Tanya and I am a QA consultant in Indirocks and now I will show you how easy it is to test Salesforce API using JMeter. I am here to explain the testing process for creating leads, but this process also applies for other main objects in Salesforce like account, test, contact, opportunity, etc. That means that you can use same process for other objects. Before we get started, I would like to give a brief explanation of what is Salesforce, what is JMeter 2 and for what is used. Salesforce is an online solution for customer relationship management or CRM. It gives all your departments, marketing, sales, commerce and service a shared view of your customer with one integrated CRM platform. Apache JMeter is open source software a 100% per Java desktop application designed to load this functional behavior and measure performance of websites. It was originally designed for load testing web application, but has science expanded to other test functions. Apache JMeter may be used to test functional and performance both on statistic and dynamic resource. It can be used to simulate and heavy load on a server, network or object to test its range or to analyze overall performance under different load types. You can also use it it perform a functional test on websites, databases, LDAPS, web services, etc. What is the purpose of this presentation? First, help you make a functional test JSON REST API through the specific example Salesforce JSON REST API and this presentation will completely get you through it. Handle SOAP API login using an HTTP request, extract variable from a response and reuse it later in the script and verify JSON response using JMeter response assertions. You may be wondering here, how can we simulate a login in Salesforce with JMeter? Most APIs such as our flow work with the following login workflow. First, login using an HTTP POST request by providing username and password. Second, receive a temporary session ID for later request to identify yourself and send the session ID with his subsequent request. Typically via HTTP headers like authorization with value bearer plus session ID. So we can start. Now we can create the lead object in Salesforce. In JMeter we have set up an HTTP request for login in Salesforce. But first we add one thread group. A thread group is a set of threads executing the same scenario. It is the base element for every JMeter test plan. After thread group, we add HTTP request. These are settings. HTTP method must be post. HTTP schema or protocol is HTTPS. Hostname or server name is login.salesforce.com. And this is SOAP API for login in Salesforce. Because for login in Salesforce, we log in with SOAP API in the body date we send XML request, which contains username and password. Password contains password from Salesforce platform plus token which is previously sent by email after you create a new account in Salesforce. We use SOAP API login call which return the session ID. That session ID will be used for development of the test. Under HTTP request, we add HTTP header manager, which contains headers needed for login in Salesforce, like as content type, accepted encoding, and SOAP action. After all, we add one listener, view result three, for we can see the results. Now we can run the test. Great, we are logged in Salesforce successfully. We have received 
session ID. So now we can extract it and reuse it in subsequent request. To extract the session ID from the server response, we are going to use a regular expression extractor. The process of extracting a variable from a response works as follows. First, the server sends back a response to our login request. Second, a post processor like the regular expression extractor is executed afterwards and the extractor extracts part of the server response and put into variable. We have configured the JMeta regular expression extractor with these settings. Reference name, session ID, which will result in a reusable variable, regular expression. We get the value for session ID from the response, template, dollar, one dollar, match num number, simple one for the first occurrence, and default value not found. Let's also add response assertions. To see the session ID is subtract in the response. Now we testing the HTTP request for login in Salesforce. Great, we are logged successfully and the regular expression extractor and response assertions are perfectly working. Now we can create a lift object in Salesforce. Needed one HTTP request in JMeter. These are settings, name, create lit. HTTP method must be post request. HTTP schema is HTTPS. Server name. And this is the API for create a lit. In the body date, we write the request in JSON format. The request contains fields which we needed for creating one new lead. The value for fields we defined in one preprocessor, user parameters. Value must be allowing different when we create a new lead. Under HTTP request, we add a HTTP header manager, which contains headers needed for create new lead. For authorization, the value is bearer plus session ID, which previously was extracted. If we run the script again, we can notice the lead. is created. In response, we can see the ID for the lead which was created. This ID we must extract because we need it for the further request with the same procedure as for the session ID. Reference name ID, which will result in reusable variable, regular expression. We get the value for ID from the response, template, match number one, and default value not found. Also, here we add two response assertions. In one assertion, we check whether the response message is created 
and in the second assertions, we check whether response code is 201. Now we can run the script again. Great, new lead is created and two assertions are passed. So now we check, we can check the ID in Salesforce platform. Now I log in in Salesforce. Open the old created lead. <clears throat> and search this ID. Details. Great, the new lead is created. With the next HTTP request, we get the lead which we create previously. Here we have set up for HTTP request for get lead. HTTP method must be get. Protocol is HTTPS, server name, and this is the API for get the lead. Here, we specify which lead we want to take. Under HTTP request, we add HTTP header manager with the same headers needed for create new lead and we add one response assertions here we check whether the values of the response are matched with those we entered like as last name first name solutions title etc run the script again And this is successfully. Needed one more HTTP request in Gmeter for update the lead. Those are settings. HTTP method must be patch request. HTTP schema is HTTPS. Server name. And this is the API for update the lead. Here we specify which lead we want to update. In the body date, we write the request in JSON format. The request contains fields which are have the update. The value for fields we defined in one preprocessor user parameters. Under HTTP request, we add HTTP header manager, which contains the same headers needed for create new lead. Also, here we add a one response assertions. We check whether response code is 204. This code is returned in result if updated is successfully. If we run the script, we can notice the lead is updated. 
To make sure it is true, we will be going on Salesforce platform. And search the ID. We will compare the value of the name before the update of the lead and the value after the update. We can notice the value of the name before the update was Sarah and after the update is Anna. So the HTTP request for update lead works successfully. And in the end, we call just one more API if we can delete this lead. In HTTP request for delete delete these are settings method must be delete request server name protocol is https and this is the api for delete delete here we specify which lead we want to delete under http request we add HTTP header manager, which contains same headers which we used in previously. Also here we add one response assertions. We check whether response code is 204. This code is returning result if the lead is deleted successfully. If we run the script again, We can notice the lead is deleted. Check in Salesforce platform. Search the, this ID. We can notice the lead does not exist anymore. Well, this was an example about how can test Salesforce API using JMeter. This is the end of the of session. Thanks for watching.